Hello everyone. This video is about the do's and don'ts of using a seasoned soapstone cook pot. After you buy a seasoned cook pot, make sure you wash it with a nice scrub and a dishwash agent. This helps in removing the excess oil and turmeric powder sticking to it. After you wash it, rub it clean with a dry cloth and apply a little bit of any cooking oil that you prefer. After which, you can use this cook pot as a serveware for a week. Let's say you make a sambar in a different vessel, pour it on the soapstone cook pot and use it as a serveware for a week's time. After one week, use the cook pot to cook rice or dal or vegetables by adding an excess amount of water to it. For example, let's say you add 1 cup of rice and in a normal vessel you'll be adding 3 cups of water to it. In a soapstone cook pot you'll have to add 4.5 to 5 cups of water for every cup of rice. Follow the same procedure for cooking a dal or vegetables in it. Once you do that for one week, you can start using the soapstone cook pot for making any gravies. As the first step to make any gravy, we would be making a tadka. Now a tadka cannot be made on a soapstone cook pot for a little while, at least a week's time. So make your tadka in a different vessel, transfer it to your soapstone cook pot and then continue with your recipe after that. After a week's time of using your soapstone cook pot in this manner, you can start using it for every dish and you can make a direct tatka on it. Now these are just a few of the do's and don'ts that you need to follow when you're using your cook pot for the first time. Enjoy cooking with your soapstone cookware and please post any questions that you might have in the comment section. See you in another informative video. Thank you.